Envision yourself overwhelmed by the cost of gas and on the verge of switching to an electric car. But you're not sure which of the two, Telsa's Cybertruck or Ford's F-150, to choose. To choose the best alternative, you began comparing the available ones. Tesla claims that the Cybertruck's external shell is incredibly durable and protects the occupants. Nonetheless, the F-150 was created with durability and productivity in mind from the ground up. Tesla, a significant player in the automotive sector, plans to start mass-producing its Cybertruck by the end of 2023. The CEO, Elon Musk, said that it would take two years for the goal to be eventually disclosed to the public. The next model's manufacturer, which the company said was being built in Texas, will start operations in the middle of 2023. Musk verified this during a financial analyst's conference call last year. The company's growth is expected to be significantly aided by the new model, even if revenue won't be reported until early 2024 because of a sluggish ramp and until the second half of that year. The narrative also said that those who paid USD 100 to reserve a Cybertruck should wait another year, and that one of the most eagerly awaited and scrutinized electric vehicle debuts in history is going to take place. So, are you excited to see the new Cybertruck from Tesla? Furthermore, Tesla has challenges given that Ford's F-Series is the most well-known car in American history. Their performance might exceed what one would anticipate from a truck for high-end projects and specifications. The ultimate cost of the model, the vehicle's production model, and the management strategy for the battery supply remain unknown. Despite many speculations to the contrary, Tesla's famed 4680 batteries will be used in the Cybertruck. According to Guidehouse Insight analyst Sam, Tesla has not been able to increase internal battery production, which may result in a further delay of the Cybertruck beyond the end of 2023. Additionally, the business might have to adapt the Cybertruck batteries to utilize standard 2170 batteries. Musk also stated in a well-submitted statement from last year that the Cybertruck wouldn't be limited by the 4680 batteries and that the battery output was growing rapidly. But Ford's electric vehicle deliveries began last year, and the demand was so great that reservations were closed. Ford is clearly on the rise because Hummer and Rivian launched a year earlier than Tesla. The rumors spread because the most recent drone footage from Tesla's Texas Jega factory showed the huge equipment needed to build the Cybertruck being purchased in parts. A 9,000-ton Jega press made by the Idra Group will be used to build the Tesla Model Y while a 6,000-ton gigapress is used in its production. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, clarified why the Cybertruck needed more than 6,000 tons in a recent interview. He stated that the new model would use larger casting machinery for the rear body because the Cybertruck is a larger vehicle with a long truck bed that can store many loads. The base F-150 costs about $40,000 and comes with two motors and all-wheel drive. The F-150 Lightning is priced somewhat higher than a single-motor Cybertruck, but overall, it is comparable to the dual-motor Cybertruck. It was previously reported that the top-tier Cybertruck, which has three motors, would cost about $70,000. In addition, the model has more hardware and features, such as an extra motor for improved performance and greater range. The Cybertruck dispels the most widely held myth that electric vehicles cannot tow, and with a towing capacity of up to 6.35 tons, the model will be an interesting offering in the U.S. market. Furthermore, the first build of the model will be completed in the second half of 2023, and a delivery event is planned following the commencement of manufacturing. When Musk presented the Cybertruck in 2019, he said that the designer had broken the unbreakable seal around the armored glass windows. The company pushed back the original manufacturing target three times, from late 2021 to late 2022, then to early 2023, and finally to mid-2023. With the debut of the Cybertruck, Ford Motors, and Rivian Automotive, two companies that have only produced a limited number of electric pickups, will be able to bring their electric vehicles, EVs, back to one of the most lucrative U.S. markets. Musk blamed a shortage of supplies for the January 2022 announcement that the launch will be postponed until 2023.
As of May, Tesla is accepting orders from North America. Musk claimed that the company had more orders than it could fulfill three years after the first Cybertruck was put into production. The F-150 Lightning variant shares design considerations with its gasoline-powered and hybrid predecessors. The Ford F-Series has been the best-selling vehicle in North America, but there are significant distinctions up front. The success of Tesla's investment in larger cast pieces was demonstrated by the Model Y, which was constructed with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 separate parts. Due to the success of the huge casting technology, other businesses are currently trying to emulate Tesla. Regarding the casting technology, IDRA reportedly had conversations with over six automakers last year. It might take several years to include the concept into any car program, though. When can we anticipate seeing the all-new Cybertruck? Rather than a traditional tailgate, the Cybertruck features an extended telescopic ramp on its 6.5-foot truck bed. The door of the new variant would withstand bullets from a 9mm handgun and is also more robust. On the other hand, the single-cab F-150 variant boasts a 5.5-foot-long bed. As a result, the Cybertruck can carry a heavier weight than the F-150. In terms of interior design, the Cybertruck is more of a futuristic minimalist tribute than a useful room created by humans, with its abundance of buttons and knobs. Ford, on the other hand, offers a central touchscreen surrounded by many buttons, a plethora of media, and cruise control buttons on the steering wheel, and a buttonless future. Therefore, the F-150 can accomplish more in terms of safety, and the F-150 is your best bet if you're searching for a typical vehicle control layout. Because of its triple motor engine and high output battery, Cybertruck outperforms the F-150 Lightning in terms of performance. The model, according to the manufacturer, can hit 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. The F-150 can, however, accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds. There are four Cybertruck models with a single rear-wheel drive motor at the base. On the other hand, there are numerous F-150 trim levels, all of which come equipped with a dual motor system and 4x4. When contrasting Ford's electric pickup truck, the F-150 Lightning, with Tesla's long-delayed EV Cybertruck, Ford CEO Jim Farley made fun of Tesla CEO Elon Musk. In an announcement, he and DTE Energy disclosed the largest purchase of renewable energy. Furthermore, according to Farley, Ford is striving to spearhead a widespread electric and digital revolution with the Lightning model produced in Dearborn, Michigan, serving as the company's shining example at the moment. By 2023, it will be common to see all electric pickup trucks on the road, and the Cybertruck is nothing new. Expectations have been high for the model, and after driving a production beta version, Musk recently declared that the car was incredible. Additionally, he stated that because the company has had over a million pickup orders, there would be a lot of reviews of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk recently acknowledged that he toured the Cybertruck production line for many hours, and that the first phase of the electric pickups manufacturing is nearly finished. Furthermore, he mentioned that the Cybertruck manufacturing lines have been built, and that a production area is beginning to take shape as production gets closer. Despite numerous setbacks, notably COVID-19, production delays have impeded the supply chain's efficiency and battery cell availability, but Tesla is still on track to begin manufacturing in the near future. Franz, the head vehicle designer for the carmaker, added that the truck's dimensions and features were predetermined even while the company worked to improve the design. With the Cybertruck, which will employ even larger single casting pieces, the automaker is further extending its technical reach. Now that it has been confirmed that Tesla's new press has arrived in Texas, the company will hold the two largest presses in the world. Both are expected to be utilized in the Cybertruck's manufacturing process after the press is set up. Production is scheduled to start this summer, while volume production is not expected to occur until 2024. It's unknown if the second press will be used for higher volume production or if both will be needed from the start of operations. Which model, then, is your dream car? Kindly let us know in the comments. I hope the film and the information were enjoyable to all of you.
In that case, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Please feel free to add any insightful comments in the space provided. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in another one.